I have a serious problem. Roberta is in love with someone else. Check this out. She's so beautiful. <laughs> yeah. This is our new agent, Kelly, by the way. Je vous présente, Kelly. <laughs> Kelly, this is everyone People. else. People, this is Kelly. I'm Roberta. And I'm Duca. And together, we are on the mission of bringing this sailboat that was neglected for over 22 years back to life. So, don't forget to subscribe and to join us every Monday for a new episode. Today is a really, really cool day. We are finally gonna try the mock-up engine in place. Time for some explanation. Yeah, even though this is not our engine, this is a huge, huge step. It's funny how nothing is ever as simple as it should. <laughs> yeah, we've been working so hard on trying to locate this engine in place. Yeah, <laughs> this, is, this is our engine. I mean, like this is just a mock-up, but this is exactly the size of our engine. The, the same angle, the mounts are actually the mounts from our engine, and in this way we can much easier find the right tuning of the position and of the angle of the engine because we have a lot of small things to overcome in order to be able to do this properly. But I think it's easier to explain you on paper first and then we come back to here and you're gonna understand this situation much better. So come with me. Let me try to explain. In an ideal situation you want a engine to sit as flat as possible on the boat. That means if this is the engine and this is the water line of the boat, the ideal situation is an engine that is straight. There is no angle because a engine is made to sit straight and to work straight. If you put an engine 45 degrees, the pistons are gonna work different one from it, the other and have different lubrification and won't work as good as it would straight. I mean, you are not even allowed to have 45 degrees. You have a limitation of how much angle you can have, of course you can have some, uh, some angle, but if you can have straight, even better. In our case, our old engine was sitting on the boat in a, I guess, 6 degrees angle. That means, if this is the water line, our old engine was sitting like this. And the reason why it was sitting like this is because, you guys know, we have a shaft that is like this. This is the propeller. I'm putting more angle than it is just to illustrate so you guys can understand better. In the end of the propeller shaft we have a seal system, so that's the seal system, and we have a flange. So this is the ideal situation, this is how it used to be. This is our propeller shaft as it is, the seal system for the propeller shaft as it is, the flange on the end of the seal system, and that's something that we cannot change. If we had a regular prop shaft that goes straight to the engine, we would need to have the engine like up here so wouldn't work out. In this case they installed a current shaft that means that we can have an angle and in between the current shaft and the engine we have a gearbox that's our gearbox. On the end of the gearbox we have another flange and the current shaft connects to this flange. So that's how it used to be our boat. We have an angle on the prop shaft, another angle on the current and the gearbox an engine w used to be on an angle. Which angle? This angle right here used to be 6 degrees. And this angle right here used to be 6 degrees. So why won't you just straight up the engine and create a different angle here than here? That's the main problem. So how does a cardan work? A cardan it's a sh kind of shaft that you cannot be straight. So basically if you have a flange on the end of the cardan and another flange on the end of the cardan and both angles of the flanges are zero degrees, that means this end is parallel to this end, this cardan won't last for too long because it's gonna wear the bearings on the crossings. It's meant to have an angle, that means you need to have a small angle. 
not too big but you need to have an angle but can you have different angles on the end of the shaft like for example if I have this angle here could I have this one straight imagine that this is the prop shaft and this is the engine why don't I install the engine straight and this shaft not straight because this situation is wrong you are not allowed to have both ends of the current shaft in different angles because once you turn this end of the shaft when you turn it won't turn equally here the propeller is gonna do a turn and then accelerate and then accelerate because of this different angle so we need to have as close as possible to parallel angles and of course we can have a little bit of a difference but not a big difference we can have like a few degrees the faster you spin the propeller the smaller the angle difference need to be so now let's show you our new situation our future situation what we are trying to achieve we want to have a straight engine with a straight gearbox we don't want to change anything on this system so how do we do that magic nope the way to do that is to have an angle on this flange so instead of having a parallel flange on the end of the gearbox we would have a angle flange on the gearbox so why this is the perfect solution because we have a straight engine we have the same angle on both ends of the carbon shaft and everything would work perfectly so when we bought the engine we thought this would be our perfect solution this works perfect but we forgot that we have a metal boat and in order to achieve this we have other problems to overcome our limitation is that we have these two bulkheads that cross on the top of the current shaft that means we have a limitation we cannot put as high as we want the current shaft and in order to have the engine hundred percent straight horizontally to the water line parallel to the water line we would hit these bulkheads that means we would need to cut these bulkheads and that would be a mess so in our current situation we have two degrees on the engine that means the engine is almost straight with the water line but it's a little bit down a lot less than used to be but now we have a gearbox with a seven degrees that means putting seven degrees plus two we have nine degrees we have six degrees on the prop shaft that means six degrees less nine degrees we end up with a three degrees difference so now we have a basically almost a straight engine with the water line so it's basically sitting flat straight and the difference of angle in between the beginning and the end of the carbon carbon shaft we have only a three degree difference and this difference according to the engineer is perfect it's fine it's gonna last for a long time the carbon the carbon is well installed and i think that's good enough for now what do you say let's keep going what's happening today's a big day we're gonna finally uh talk to the guy that works with the drive shaft we're gonna put the mock-up of the engine in place we're gonna try the mock-up of the shaft we have in place and we're gonna decide with him if we're gonna keep exactly the same length of shaft if we're gonna move a little bit or not we're gonna you know get to understand our shaft and decide what to do with it if we're gonna just uh fix the one we have just replace the bearings regrease repaint everything or if we're gonna buy a new one but i think we're gonna fix the one we have we'll Hope see so. finally here that's the new support for the engine we're gonna try in place if everything's okay we're gonna send to be galvanize it hope it fits yeah just a quick explanation the reason why we have this new support for the engine is because the old engine was a lot wider than the new one that means if we install the new engine as it was the engine would just fall on the bilge of course we're not gonna do that so we create this new support that's basically gonna be bolted to the old hose for the old engine and on this new support we have new hose to bolt the new engine it's gonna make sense just stick with us it's gonna make sense
the supports are ready to be galvanized. So we are gonna drive around two hours to go to another city to galvanize them. And maybe tomorrow they are gonna be ready. Ta-da! After so long, the support, that's the engine support, was hot galvanized, that means deep galvanized. And this is gonna last for a long, long time. But as we have the possibility of give even a l extra protection, we decided we're gonna paint with epoxy paint. We have the paint, we have the time, so let's do it. Do you recognize this? Yeah. It's our engine mount. How about this one? Also our engine mount. So why are they different? The reason for that is because we decide to properly paint the engine mount to give some extra coats of protection. So we send blast to raw metal. The rubber, nothing happened to the rubber. It, the sand blast machine doesn't affect the rubber. But we're gonna properly paint this to last longer because we see in many engines that the engine mount is the first place you get some rust on the engine room. In our old engine, the mount was full of rust so we are gonna paint really well because we are already painting the engine support why not also paint the engine mount it's gonna last for much longer we hope so <laughs> We are gonna install the engine in place. Yeah, we are just uh, getting to Reginaldo's shop to pick up the supports because we painted the last coat yesterday and the support is so good. It's just shiny and white. And we are gonna, gonna see it. Yeah. <laughs> Let's go. I'm inside the boat with this. Hope so. <laughs> hopefully this support is gonna go to the in place today and not leave for like 10 years. Or maybe more, 20. I hope more. 20 years. 25 years. Good, yeah, good timing. Uh, Let's so put it in place. in place. Ready to go. Are you ready to see the engine in place? More than ready. <laughs> yeah. I think the truck is gonna be here, the crane is gonna be here in like 15 minutes hopefully. And then we just need to screw this support in place and then comes the engine and then we, you know, align. It's gonna be a nice day today, but I'm tired already. <laughs> This is 
is just awesome. Yeah. <laughs> Looks so good. This is after sandblasting, three coats of black made vinyl and three coats of polyurethane varnishing. Yeah, it's just amazing the finishing that we got. I mean, Reginaldo, thank you. Reginaldo, is, yeah, he knows what he's doing. He's been doing that for a long time. And he said that if we paint this way, this is going to last for much, much longer without rust because the engine mounts, they rust really quite easy. And our old engine mount was the, I think, the worst part on the yeah. entire engine. And we don't want rust on our engine room. No, <laughs> no way. Yeah, so this is going to go on the top of this now. By the way, we gave some numbers to them because they are different. Yeah, right? by the way, I just put it on the wrong place. This is number four. Number four <laughs> is here. Yeah, the reason for that is because the support, the engine mounts, actually they support different kinds of weight in each side because the, this engine turns to the right side. So we have numbers one, two, three, four. And we have the numbers here that we create these numbers. And now we always will know which one is which one. And we make sure that we use the right one on the right spot. And this is number one. Now where is the engine? We have a crane already! Hello! Great moment! Yeah. Great moment. Ready? Ready! Set! Go! Now it's for real, we have the truck, the crane, we have the engine down there and we have the boat. That means a boat, a crane and an engine. What are we going to do today? We are going to install the engine, please. That's so cool. There is always a tiny problem. <laughs> the angle of the exhausting system, when it gets to the water lock, we didn't do it right. We did it together, but we got wrong the height of the engine, so the angle is not right. So we are trying to find a way of not having any change. Otherwise, we need to take out the water lock again and, and to fix. And we don't want this. So we are just trying to work around and see if it's possible to bend the hose and to get, you know, it right. I'll take you away to where the sun shines So bright, so bright You can stare at the stars at night, at night You can tell me anything you like I have a serious problem Roberta is in love with someone else, check this out 
<laughs> it's so beautiful. <laughs> yeah. This is our new angel, Kelly, by the way. Je vous présente, Kelly. <laughs> Kelly, this is everyone People. else. People, this is Kelly. Yeah, we today are just, you know, in love. In, yeah, we're just hanging out around the engine room. <laughs> we are going to start the installation tomorrow. We are just taking the rest of the day to, you know, enjoy the moment that the engine room contemplate the engine room with light because soon we're going to close this. Yeah, so yeah. it's the, almost like the last day with light inside of the engine room, and that's really good because yeah. But it's going to take like five days to install the engine. If we can manage to solve this problem, yeah, we're gonna talk about problems later. No, yeah. today is a happy day. No yeah. problems today. We're gonna solve any problem that we have. So we're gonna start the installation tomorrow. We're gonna yeah. take the day now to just look at the engine because it's pretty. Now, before we go, let's welcome on board our new patrons for this week. So welcome aboard, John, Richard, Byron, Matthew. And we also want to thank a donation through our PayPal. Thanks thank so much. Thanks so much, Harry. <laughs> yeah, guys, thanks so much. We really, really appreciate your support. And we see you guys next week, hopefully with the installation of the engine. With Kelly starting for the first time. I'm not sure if we're going to start next week. We're going to install. I'm not sure if we're going to start. Hey, we need please. the travel lift to start. I, in the marina we are, they won't allow us to start an engine without the travel lift. And to have the travel lift, we need to take stays off and we need to do a lot of... In, in, Please, baby, Maybe. please. I will see. I'm not sure. We'll see you guys next week. See you next Monday.